In this episode of Engineering Career TV, I'm going to answer a question from an engineering student who would like to own his own business one day. I will discuss the options of working for a company first or opening your own firm right out of the gate. This question is from one of our listeners named Sebastian. I am currently studying engineering and in my first year. I hope to one day operate my own engineering firm, whether it is consulting, surveying, or something else. Would it be wise to first work for a company and gain experience, or instead go the business route immediately? Do you necessarily need to be a licensed engineer to operate an engineering business? I have heard two sides of the story. All right, so Sebastian wants to eventually own his own engineering business. Should he go right into business for himself and learn on the fly and try to do it on his own? Or should he go to a corporation first to learn from others and work for a company for a while and then consider opening his own company? I think that Sebastian, honestly, hands down, this is a no-brainer in my opinion. Work for a company first. The odds of you succeeding in owning your own engineering company without actually working for someone else first in my opinion, are slim to none for multiple reasons. First of all, you need to learn about engineering, technically. And if you do that while you are being paid by a company, you can start to see their business operations, start to learn about how they run their business, save money. And at the same time, you'll be able to build relationships. You need to build up your network and credibility and your expertise before people are actually going to pay you money. Also, from a business perspective, you will need some financial resources to start a company. And again, working for an employer will help you build up those resources as long as you are being frugal in your living arrangements. So, like I said, it's obviously a no-brainer for you because you haven't done this before. But with all my experience of talking with and coaching engineers, it is really a no-brainer that you should absolutely work for a corporation first. And as far as the credentials needed to start your own business, whether you need a license or not, the reason you've heard different things is because it's different everywhere. It's different in every state in the US, and I'm sure it's different in every country around the world as well. So you need to figure out where you want to operate your own business eventually, and then start to get all of those rules figured out when the time comes. There's also a wonderful book called Engineer to Entrepreneur by Rick De La Guardia. I've interviewed the author on one of our podcasts, and we will link to that interview in the show notes for this episode. I hope you found this episode of Engineering Career TV helpful. Remember, you can go to engineeringcareercoach.com forward slash ask and submit your question. This show is for you and I want you to take full advantage of it. You can find all of the episodes categorized by topic at engineeringcareer.tv. If you would like to discuss issues like this and other engineering career goals and challenges, I recommend you join the Engineering Mastermind an online support community we have created for engineers at theengineeringmastermind.com. For the price, you can't get more specific, targeted engineering career advice and assistance. The Engineering Mastermind is not about helping you survive as an engineer. It's about helping you thrive. This is Anthony Fasano, author of Engineer Your Own Success. Please subscribe to the show on YouTube or iTunes and I'll see you next week.